Hello, it's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. I'm getting ready to make this um, package of hell, uh, earthly grains, cheddar broccoli from Aldi. Only I'm going to add to it. I'm going to get um, a couple of meals or so out of this. And let's see how we do. I've got some frozen broccoli here that I took out of the package from Dollar Tree. I'm going to put that in the microwave to thaw it out a little bit. Okay, I've got my can of carrots, and I'm going to pour these in the saucepan. Whoops! That one didn't want to come out. And I'm going to heat it up on the back of the stove. Alright, the broccoli is warmed up and thawed out and because it's big I'm going to just chop it up with the scissors um, because it's hot as well and I don't want to burn me surf <laughs> there you go done and done now in my large skillet I have put one and a quarter cups of water and a quarter cup of milk and that's according to the instructions on the back of the cheddar broccoli package. I'm going to put some dehydrated onion in here and you can see that the carrots are bubbling so I'm going to trim those down a bit. I want to cook off some of this liquid. Yes, they're going to be kind of mushy but that's the way I like them. Okie dokie. The milk and the water and the dehydrated onion are boiling so I'm going to pour in the packet according to the directions. Now it says some butter or margarine is optional. I will put that in but I wanted to get this blended in first. the butter. Smells nice. Now once this gets going I'm going to put the broccoli in but not right away and I will put the tuna in at the end. The instructions say to cook this for seven minutes. So I've got my timer set and I'm going to turn it down just a bit. And uh, when it's at about five minutes or so, I'm going to add the broccoli. I added a little bit more water to this because it was thickening up very quickly. And I turned the heat down a little bit. There's about four minutes left on here. So I've got my broccoli. I drained the water that accumulated on it after it was um, microwaved. Let's put that in. <clears throat> now that's going to add a little bit of moisture in the in the cheddar broccoli. <laughs> I'll put the tuna in at the last. Carrots are bubbling away, which is what I want. If if you, I know it seems strange, but if you have something like canned carrots, canned vegetables, if you uh, boil them a bit, they actually taste better. And then at the end, I put a little butter on there. They actually taste better uh, for some reason or other when they're canned. Now. I did put some pepper in there. I'm going to put the tuna in. Now, this is the ranch chunk light tuna. Uh, I had this or I had the lemon pepper, so I thought, what the heck, I'll just use this.
I'm going to turn the heat off. Get this tuna mixed in. Smells good. And now I'm going to put a lid on it for a couple minutes. And we'll come back. Let's put a little butter on here. I'm going to put some salt. I'm going to put a little pepper. I actually turned the heat off on this. So we're going to let that calm down, wait a couple minutes, and we'll come back and we will do our cheddar broccoli with tuna. Okie doke, dinner is ready. Now this portion is going to be my supper for tonight. So I've got the, the uh, cheddar broccoli with tuna. I've got half of the can of the carrots with some butter on it. I've got uh, some beetroot relish that my daughter made from the beets they grew. And I've got a nice Roma tomato cut up here. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? And this, I did give this a taste when I was dishing it up. It's really, really good. <laughs> But this one is for another day, tomorrow or the day after that. And then I have a little space here that I can keep open to put whatever I want to put in there. Maybe a repeat of the beetroot relish and tomato. Who knows? The choice is mine, right? Okay, so this goes in the fridge, this goes in my Tom Tom. All right. I love you guys. You know I do. I hope this gives you some ideas, and I hope you realize how inexpensive this is. Um, the packet of the cheddar broccoli was under a dollar. I just used a little bit of the frozen broccoli, and my can of carrots was from Aldi, and I think that was about 53 cents, and these were given to me. So, you know what? All in all, that's very cheap and very tasty. All right, I love you guys, you know I do. As always, you know that little is much when God is in it, okay? All right, I love you, you take care, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.